Flowers, flowers, man. It's more love. Come on. I pulled up behind Tim, but I came more without that glizzle now. I just ran that sack up for the piss, my competition. I'm in my name, my jeans. Tryna see how much can fit in now. Bad bitches and women, diamonds here from out my fist, and I don't want lick it off. I jump in that smoke, I'm tryna kick it off. I won't post my low, I hit no stow, I let my bitch get out. But I'm moving with that pole, that stick be close, you know it's sticking wrong. I can't wait to catch one of these bitch ass niggas' head sticking out. So me could get a soul, I pick and roll, and then I dish it off. You seen that stick and froze like he was cold, and he was giving out. Them choppers on the road, this bitch unload, you gotta live in now. Yo, thanks for tuning in to Simmer Radio Summer Podcast. Today, I'm taking myself once again. I'm going all the way back to Streetport, Louisiana. And we not just bringing someone regular. We got Sean Mula in the building. What's good, Sean? What's good, bro, bro? Man, what's popping, bro? I'm telling you, we, hey, we just pushing, bro. We ain't no stops. Nah, for real. So I just want you to know me just... And me knowing you as a brother, man, I just want you to introduce yourself, where you're from, where you're raised, how you got into music, what year, you know what I mean? Just all, just just give them the behind the music of your life. Oh, uh, man, I'm Sean Moolah from Shreveport, Louisiana. I won't say no specific neighborhood or nothing, nothing like that. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I got into music probably like, I really been like, been with the music shit like all my life, really. Like my uncle used to rap, so I yeah. used to, you know, seeing it growing up, like I yeah. was in the studio with uncle type shit. Shit, I really just been like I really just been been dealing with the music all my life, really. Man, it's okay. I mean, I mean, we only see what we. I mean, now going to the music wise, we only see what you release as as wise as what we see. I mean, what I'm looking at, I see. Through, I mean, three years ago, you know, what I mean, I see you. You really into that freestyle wave, you know, what I mean, freestyling and stuff. So yeah. I see you drop Survivor. Yeah, see, 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 that's how I really started off. Like, I started off doing other people's beats. Like, that's really how I, how I just, you know, really got in tune with rapping, really, because I just take, like, I, I was a big Lil Wayne fan, so I just... Yeah, Lil Wayne like, did that shit, yeah. The no sellings, the dedications, the, you know, I listen to all that when he going on other people's beats and, you know, yeah. really turning them bitches to his and just own. just turning them up and it's going yeah, crazy. Yeah, so I that's really... You did a lot of the freestyle, man, and my favorite one you did... I mean, going from there after the Survivor, it was the one that you did March 13th. Yeah, see, March 13th, that was actually a real song, but back to the yeah. freestyle, like, not to get off subject, but the freestyle, it was, it, that's really, like, how I caught, like, attention. Like, attention, I yeah. used to be heavy on, on, on SoundCloud, so. Man. I a, little, a, a freestyle to Kevin Gates, two phones. Man. And that's really just the one that just made people be like, oh, yeah, like, dude can really rap. Yeah, this nigga, yeah, he's doing his shit, man. Yeah. Even though, you mean, even the freestyle one, I mean, even your freestyle's doing numbers. Like, even I see Lonely uh, Lonely Child did 13K. Yeah, yeah, Lonely Child. That was one that made him believe, too. That was one that yeah. made him believe, too. But just, you know what I mean? You're going to the music wise, and then you coming up, you know. You already say Wayne has influenced you, you know, with all the freestyle stuff. I mean, freestyle wise. I mean, as you coming up, besides Wayne and all that, who else you looked up to with the music wise and of, of your sound? Because your sound is so different, man. It's like, I won't say, it, like, it's just so unique and so different. So, it's like, you're so versatile with it, too. So, from the singing to the rapping, you just do it so, so well. So, what do you, who you say that influenced you more with the music wise? Uh, I was kind of like, I'm going to say Wayne, like, that was, like, really my main influence, but shit, I could say I was growing, like, coming up, I was listening to the Rich Homies, the, the, the YFN, Luchas, pretty yeah. much, really, I was into the mel melodic, like, I was listening to, like, I, I hardly ever, like, listened to, like, you know, Louisiana music, but yeah, I was, like, the Rich Homies, the, the Luchas, shit. Just like really them type people like uh, have you heard of, um, uh have you heard of Schooly? Yeah, Schooly, yeah, yeah. yeah. School, I was listening to Schooly too. Uh I was listening to like T C when I was coming up. Like T C was real like dope to me. That's really like one that I listened to. Man, so I, 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 I even I love the rich kids. With, with the rich kids. Yeah, yeah. I would listen to the rich kids too. <laughs> Man, we go, we going way back, man. People, yeah, that's, people that's listening awesome. right now, man, they don't know what we talking about. Some of them, yeah. <laughs> man, but, just from that, man, um, I see you dropped a lot of projects. You know, 
as you know, you're coming up, man. Have you went through any, like I said, because I see you dropped the album, I'm not going to, I mean, that's one of the newest one. It, it was like so deep and wise as, I don't even want to go to the album right now. It was one, I mean, you went, everyone to like trial and tribulations. If you yeah. just behind the music wise. Yeah, that, see, you talking about the album, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was, uh. See, when I when I did that, it was just like a point in my life where like I had just came across so many obstacles, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I had came across a lot of shit in my life, you know. I had ended up going to jail, like, and I had I was on a run for like a couple for like a couple years for like a little bullshit I had charged. Man. And then I had ended up getting caught up in another parish in Louisiana. So shit, I had ended up going to jail. Then when I got out of jail, I'd say about like a month later, my girlfriend had died. Then I'd say like a month after that, like yeah, I saw, I saw, exactly I see 30 that. days after that, I had got shot and shit. Man. Later, like I'll let y'all know when this shit get greater later. Yeah, real shit. I mean, as as all this stuff going on in your life, you getting shot at and going on the run and all this and getting locked up and how much, I mean, f from all that going on, how do you keep that much faith, man, and just believe? Shit. <laughs> It, it's, it's, it's been times where I lost faith, so, but shit, okay. you know, but I'm walking, you know, I'm walking in Jesus, so, you know, I'm walking yeah. right there, so shit, it's like, you know, I grew up, like, around church, like, my granny and my mom, like, they used to make a nigga go to church, so shit, it just was like, I know, like, if I lose faith, then I lose the game, so shit, yeah, real shit. it's like, I just knew, like, I gotta stay level-minded, like, it's like, shit, God give this toughest battle to the strongest soul. Really so shit. I feel like if I can undergo like the if I can undergo even just living in Shreveport, then I know like I could just, you know what I'm saying? I can go through anything. Man, man, it's just you sharing that man just behind the music of cause they only know Sean Mula. So I'm yeah. really, man, I'm really giving y'all the behind the scenes and who why he make these type of songs and the the experience, the the mean the, the just the get into that songs and why's and I just want everybody listening man. This is really, really real. Just bigger than just music itself. This is behind the music and really going to get to know the artist and just the whole life story and everything. So, man, from you dropping so many albums and, you know, going through all that and coming up right now, you know, still trying to, you know I mean, get to the next level and all that. What big artist or what fe big artist, big feature that you work with and um, anyone big that you work with? Uh, I can't really just say I work with too many big people, but like, Everybody local in Shreveport, like I, I didn't, you know what I'm saying. I didn't like my hands didn't touch, touch they, um, uh, they, 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 they buy their work as an engineer. But working on like music and I can't say I just got too many like big names. I, I work with Ray Vicks, and Ben Rudge. I work with Ray Vicks. That's pretty like much the biggest, the biggest person that I work with like music wise. Like my voice on the track with his voice. Like that's the biggest music wise that I've been. Man, but, man, I don't really got too much big cosigns and no shit like that. Man, whoever it is, man, it's coming. Just know that it's coming, man. And we're and impatient that everything is coming from projects to projects to singles and everything you work with. I mean, one song that it was really touch, you know what I mean? And it's doing numbers that's coming up and coming, coming, I mean, climbing higher. I see you did one that's called Can't Help Myself. I mean, just yeah. can't help myself, man. Talk about that and how really, you know, you came up with that song. And, how you mean me just getting the whole dynamic and just everything about the song? I can't help myself. It came about like, you know what I'm saying? I'm up, you know, making a lot of money, but I take a fall. Mm. And it, 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 you know, I take a little fall and it's like everybody's so used to me having being able to help. So it's like, boom, everybody asking like what like how I could help them. But like at this time I'm really fucked up. So I can't like I can't help myself like how you yeah. expect me to help you when I can't help myself? You know, people be used to you being this and that. Really? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They won't be used to you. If you so up, they won't used to you being down. So shit, it just was like, <laughs> they just came like, I just can't help myself. It really came about when I seen the video that, you know, the the the, the, the sample that's on the front. That's my girl, well, my ex-girlfriend. I ain't going to say she my ex, but my late girlfriend. Yeah. That's her sister on the front. She, wow. she, she had made a video. She was like, Y'all asking me to help y'all, I can't help myself. Like, and this shit just really just fucked my and head. And it's so real, though. You see, when you talking about real. That, I'm really thinking that. So it just, this really just how the song came about. Me seeing that video and hearing the words. And just hearing the words, yeah. Man. <laughs> man, I'm just saying, man, you so like, man, I don't, I don't know what side to go get from Sean Mula, man. You got this going on. You got this. Man, you just, you just talented, man. That's wise, man. You just talented. Appreciate then you came home. Um, 
you can you 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 bounce back. I mean, this this is on the album. I think this is on the album. You bounce back with um bad for me. The bad for me, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Talk about that, man. This, Run me in. This this the this the um uh, this when I was telling you like I was going through everything and it was just like shit was just looking bad for me, honestly. Yeah. Like, so this is just like how the title song song came about. Like it, it was just looking bad. Like my partner's in jail. Shit, it's just it's just bad. Like I didn't just got shot. My girlfriend just died. I'm fighting court back to back. Like I'm going to court like two, three times a month. So Man. shit, I'm just like this shit really just getting bad. Like it's looking bad for me. So shit, that's really just how this song came about. Just everything bad and negative in my life. Like I just looked at it like as if it was getting bad for me. So that just really yeah. came up with that. So just leaving the music wise, now we in twenty twenty three. You know what I mean? I mean, you come in, you get a new fans, you get a new old fans. We didn't meet it. I mean, feeding your old fans and then surprising your new fans. What is new for 2023 from EP, the singles? What is coming up? What is, what are you working on? What, what they should be expecting? Uh, I'm working on an album right now. It's going to be like a nice battle of work. It's, uh, I'm working on an album like called Gifted But Lost. Cause that's just how I've been feeling like I'm gifted. But like, other than that, like I just been lost, like, like like mentally emotionally like physically just lost like i'm here but i'm not here at the same I'm time here, yeah. you know I'm saying so yeah i'm working on the album called get the below so i could say it's probably gonna have about 21 22 songs on it so it's Man. gonna be a large <laughs> body of work like stepping out of my comfort zone giving the people a large body of work because it'll usually be yeah. 10, like 10 songs max on my project so this project i'm really stepping out my you know comfort zone again these people are real body of work let them Real, see yeah. as me different, like how versatile I actually am. Just getting them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, mean, I, I thought it's a lot too. of music. Just give them something to feed their thoughts. Man, that's all it's about, that's man. And, and when you when you really take the time and you know blood, sweat, and tears, and really giving them the really body work, not some shit you just rushing like, oh yeah, I got I, I got fans coming. I'm just gonna release some shit off. Oh, I'm gonna do yeah. 20 songs now, nah, man. We taking the time. Timing after timing, sun down to sun up. You mixing, you recording, you fixing this, you fixing that, and yeah. it just, man, I just, I mean, through the interview, I mean, talking to you, getting to know you, getting to meet you, getting to meet you as a brother, I man, I just want to take the time at this interview just to just give you your flowers, man. I just wanted to say, man, you're talented, you're gifted, and just, I mean, wh whatever you do, man, I'm always gonna be there to support you, man. To, to I mean, even trial tribulations, man, all this thing you had, man, and I'm just wanna say. I want to use I want to use my platform to showcase you when someone is this talented, man. They just need to have good people, good real people around them. Loyalty is everything. Cause when I'm doing something for you, a promotion, I say I fuck with you. When I post, when I post your video or your song, that's not me saying I'm promoting. I'm doing it from the love, from the heart. Yeah, for sure. So, for sure. Nah, oh, I'm not. So I just want to say, man. What I mean, you coming as an artist, man. What advice you would give to any new upcoming artist coming up right now and just uh, what I mean, just anything that will help them, because you know, I me mean, coming, you coming up, you you grinding, you doing this. What advice you would give them? My advice that I get to artists coming up, I say, like, be you. You know what I'm saying? First, first of all, just be you and and take your time. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, be a perfectionist. Like, just because you, like, you know what I'm saying? Just because you're rushing for the glitz and glamour, don't like yeah. you can't you can't let the glitz and glamour. You know what I'm saying? steer you away from like the 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 work like you could think this should be peaches and cream but it's really not like you can't look at the you can't look at the good without looking at the bad you got to put your work in and i say invest in yourself yeah. first. and like you know what i'm saying invest in yourself you go to that motherfucking gumball machine you put a quarter in a gumball and come <laughs> up you know what i'm saying you got to invest in yourself <laughs> You're real shit. behind yourself you know what i'm saying that's where it started and believe like Shit, it's possible. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's plenty of people that didn't did it. It's enough room for everybody. You know, what Real I'm shit. no, no, no time to hate. Yeah, I say believe in yourself, invest in yourself. You know what I'm saying? And, and work hard work. That's all yeah. I can tell you. I mean, going from your first album, I mean, going from your last, I mean, your latest album to your oldest album. I mean, what I'm still looking at right now, man, I'm looking at for what, what, Forever Flawless. What is it? Yeah. Forever flawless. It was just like that. Just a uh, that's just something that I was saying at first. Cause I feel like I was doing shit flawlessly. Like mm. honestly, it just turned into a brand, a label. Like I branded myself <laughs> with that. 
So shit, that's just what it like. That's what it is now. Flawless. I just started. That yeah, I, I'm and, seeing. Like, yeah. Uh, flawless. Um, favorite flawless music group, man. I'm proud of you, yeah. bro, and I'm really proud of you, man. And I, I love how you invest into that, and then being on a brand. It's all about being on a brand. You can be the artist, but you can never be an artist for so long. I mean, it's artists right now. Look, look at you. I mean, I was saying you can be an artist, but I always, man, look at it like a CEO, like a CEO. Yeah, I would, I would rather have like. ten artists under me. And yeah, then, that's Because everybody want to be the big dog. I want to be the shine. I want to be shine. Man, your time always died down. So if I have like ten artists under my label or fifteen, I want to move like Yo Gotti at this point. Yeah. So, man, I just. Hey. I mean, you have any artists you want to shout out or anything that's under you or under you, or you just got uh, as your brand? Honestly. It ain't really too many people that's under me that rapper. Like, I'm the main rapper besides my brother Jeezy, man. He locked up right now. He incarcerated free him. But it ain't too many artists that's under me or, like, you know what I'm saying, that's with the Flawless Music Group. But in due time, like, it'll get like it'll grow bigger. I, I'll be looking for artists when, like, when I get myself straight as an artist and I could yeah. branch off and, and, and really help somebody else, like, I'll be looking for artists then. But, like, other than that, it ain't too many artists that just under me. But... Some honorable names, like some honorable mentions that I I shout out, like it's some it's a couple rappers in in the city that I like, like I like Lil Rambeezy, I like the, I like the uh you know Tuno for sure. This bro, yeah, Tuno, yeah. <laughs> I got another Tuno's brother. Different. He coming. His name Goyard Goop, like he coming for sure. But it ain't just too many too many artists that just just in the city that I fuck with, and it ain't even that I don't fuck with them. It's just like due to bad blood. Like, mm. everybody, like, everybody in the city, I could say I didn't work with, like, everybody who's somebody in Shreveport, like, they yeah. know, not know them, like, as, like, music-wise, like, they didn't, I didn't touch their shit, for sure. Shit, I like, it's a couple people I like, but I wouldn't, I ain't gonna mention them just on the strength of his bad blood. Yeah. Shit, I, mean, I, they know I respect it. that, I respect that, man. It just, sometimes, you know, it is, I mean, it's just, it's just life, you know, it's just life. And I just want to say, man, and for you coming here. You know, doing the podcast with me, doing an interview with me, man, and and thank you for sharing. I mean, just everything. You know, just we, we we didn't cover everything, but just as much you know we can. And I just want to say appreciate you, uh, Sean Mula. Let me let them know where they can find you at your Instagram, your Spotify, your YouTube, your SoundCloud. Where they can find Sean Mula at to listen to you. Uh, you can find me on Apple Music, Sean Mula. If you want to listen to me, but if you want to follow my lifestyle, I'm on Instagram, one code in Mula one. C O D E I N E Mula M U L A, Twitter one Sean Mula, YouTube Sean Mula official. That's just all the, you know what I'm saying. If you wanna follow my follow my brand, follow me as a as a person, as an artist. That's the that's the way you get in contact with me. Yeah, man. I'm telling y'all, man. This not it's not a regular nigga. If you wanna to go to him as a mentor, you might have to pay too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for real. <laughs> Nothing free here, man. It's 2023. Shit, you can go find some money outside too, then. <laughs> no, for real. Man, appreciate you, Sean Mula. Everybody, there y'all have it. I bring his, the king himself and still climbing to the top. Man, appreciate you, Sean Mula. Nothing but love. Let's get it again, man. Another one. Thanks for having me, bro. Love. Much love, brother.